Okay, we're going to discuss links again, only in a little bit more depth. Okay, so if you guys remember, we have to put an anchor tag, all right, so we have our anchor tag around where we want the link, right? Let me do our closing anchor tag. And then it has the href attribute, okay? And then some other attributes that we talked about last time, target equals, right, quote, underscore blank, quote, that, that code makes it so that when I click on the link, let's go ahead and open up our website. When I click on the link, it opens up in a new page, right? Without that piece of code, it would just change the website. Okay, so we talked about that last time. We also have a couple other things that we can use, okay? So um, there's also the underscore self, okay? So that one is gonna open the linked document in the same window slash tab as it was clicked on. Okay, so that's the default. So you probably noticed the blank one did that as well. Parent opens a linked document in the parent frame, and then top opens a linked document in the full body of the window. Okay, so just a couple different ones for link attributes. Okay, um, so that's that's external links. Okay, we also have what's known as an internal link. Okay, so internal link would be considered an absolute link. An external link would be considered relative. So the website West Jordan High School is an external link. Okay, or it's a relative link. It takes me to another website, right? So an internal link is going to send you to a your other part of your website. Okay, so just for an example, let's go ahead and open up. Um, let's go ahead and go to, we'll just go to West Jordan. Okay, so the way that West Jordan is set up, when I click on, right, so let's say we have a drop down, and let's say I click on administration. That is taking me to another website, okay? Like, it's an internal link, but it's taking me to another website. This whole thing is coded differently than the home pages, okay? So, basically, each of those links that you see is taking you, is coded a different page, okay? So, let's go ahead and put in an internal, okay? So, we'll just say that we have, underneath this, we want, um, we'll do an H2. Okay, and then we're gonna have it say home page. Okay, close H2. Okay, so if I wanna link it, right, I wanna the link the home page, I'm gonna do anchor, right? Let's close the anchor tag. Okay, and then it's going to be href, right? So we're still referencing something equals, and then the name of our website. Okay, so name of website dot html right so if that was an actual website when i click on so let's just go ahead and see what happens right so uh, where is it somewhere there it is get rid of santa all right so i'm gonna refresh okay so now when i click on home page if i had another web website it would take me there so let's go ahead and see what other websites i have on my web development um, oh that's the wrong one give me a sec Okay, so Deadpool. I have one called Deadpool. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna change it from name of website to Deadpool. Okay, now the same rules still apply because because my website's right here. I'm telling it to look for Deadpool because Deadpool is in the same file. It doesn't. I don't need to identify. If Deadpool was in a different a different folder, I would need to let my code know that. Okay, so we have that saved. Let's go ahead and check it out. So I'm gonna refresh. Okay, so that takes me to my Deadpool page. Okay, so then on my Deadpool code, if I wanted to put it back, right, I would have to put in a piece of code. Maybe I want Hilarious to take me back. I'd have to put in a piece of code that, that lets my website know that when I click on it, it takes me back to my other website. Okay, so basically when you see a toolbar, right, or a navigation bar, it has a home page, an about page, a frequently asked question page. Each of those is a different piece of code. Okay, so that's how you kind of start navigating your, your website. Okay, and then the last thing we're gonna talk about is that you can do an image as a link. Okay, so let's say I wanna do um, Mandalorian, where are you there? So let's say I want this to be, right, so I'm gonna open it in a new, Copy image address, that works. Copy image address, okay? So let's say I want to add that image. Um, 
above or below my phrase, right? So I'm going to go uh, image, IMG. Oh, just kidding. I lied. A, right? We're doing an anchor href equals quote, quote. And then in there is where I put my link. Okay. And then close that. Okay. And then... Okay, backtrack a second. Um, basically, what I was referencing, I meant to say, so instead of having the image drawn from the logo, um, it's just like a reference, right? So I can actually reference. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And um, like, let's say I want it in, let's say this image, right? So the Ravenclaw image. I don't know why I want the Ravenclaw image to reference to Mandalorian, but right? So I don't need that in current. Okay, so basically when I click on the image, it'll now, because I put href in there, it will take me to that hyperlink reference if I click on the image. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit save, and let's show it again. Okay, so now, hey, why isn't it working? Oh, i got to close the anchor tag, I think. Give me a sec. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, okay. So href needs to be in the anchor tag. So I'm going to cut that. Okay, so I can just put an anchor tag around my image. So anchor right with my href. And then close anchor tag. Okay, does that make sense? I had to put an anchor around my image. So I have an anchor at the end, an anchor at the beginning with an href. So now when I go to my website, okay. So now when I click on this, it's going to take me to the link that I had saved. Okay, so like let's say I wanted an image of, I wanted an image of like CNN.com and I wanted it, so when I click on that image, I wanted to go to that website, right? So that's how I'm able to do that. Okay, so that's everything for links.